Now, yesterday I talked about the common mistake that people make of overemphasizing what's called sugar in their diets and underemphasizing the effect that their diet has on their blood sugar, which may be due to foods other than what we normally call sugar. Now, why is this bad? I mean, one thing you'll notice is that you feel awful if you eat lots of sugar. Um, and sometimes if you go out and you're active, you'll feel a little bit better. I'll get back to that in a second. So what happens when you're feeling awful is that inside of your body, also your body is working to help lower these high levels of blood sugar. And how your body does that is it releases a hormone called insulin. And insulin helps to lower blood sugar levels. Now another thing insulin does is that it stores fat in fat cells. So if your blood sugar is elevated and you have high levels of insulin, then it's easy for you to store fat and very difficult to burn it. So from a fat loss perspective, that's why having uh, elevated blood sugar is not a positive thing. Now, from an exercise standpoint, we can say, how else can we help to control blood sugar? And um, actually, if we step back and say, what is the insulin doing to control your blood sugar levels? Well, what it's doing to the blood glucose, to the blood sugar, is it's pushing it into muscle cells where it's stored in the form of glycogen. And so the insulin is pushing this, this sugar, this glucose into muscle cells. At a certain point though, your muscle cells become full of glycogen and the insulin can no longer have the effect of, of pushing it into the muscle cells. And then your blood sugar stays more elevated, insulin stays up, and it's perpetually easier for you to, to keep gaining fat and perpetually tougher to be losing fat. So the trick is activity can help mobilize glycogen stores and allow blood sugar to move back into the muscle cells. And this is why if you're active after you're feeling sluggish after eating too much sugar, you'll sometimes immediately feel better. Now it turns out different activities have different degrees of effect on, uh, on this glycogen level. And in fact, there's different types of muscle fibers. So if you're doing a normal aerobic type activity, you're using lots of oxygen and very little glucose, very little glycogen from your muscles. But if you're doing uh, high intensity exertion, that's where your body taps into the larger, stronger muscle fibers that store lots of glycogen. Um, and so doing a high intensity strength training routine is by far going to use up the most glycogen stores from the muscles and allow new glucose from your bloodstream to be pushed into the muscle cells, helping to stabilize your blood sugar levels. So again, from an activity standpoint, um, possibly the best way to help lower and control blood sugar levels and stabilize them is high intensity resistance training, strength training, um, not uh, cardio type activity.